In the previous lecture, we saw what is an average power and we also calculated the average power for this load curve. It came 105.2 megawatt. Now in this presentation, we will see what is plant load factor and we will also calculate it for the given load curve. Plant load factor we represent by PLF which is simply the abbreviation of plant load factor and it is equal to it is equal to average power over the maximum power so the ratio of average power to the maximum power is known as PLF so using this formula you can easily calculate the plant load factor first calculate the average power and then find out the maximum power using the load curve in this load curve you can see 150 megawatt is the maximum power and after this find out p average over p max and it will be the plant load factor this is one way to calculate the plant load factor i will explain the other way to calculate the plant load factor plf is equal to p average over p max the total time the total time is let's say capital T and I will multiply T to the numerator and also to the denominator. In this way we have P average multiplied with T in the numerator and P max multiplied with T in the denominator. Now P average multiplied with T is equal to area under the curve. You can see from here that area under the curve is equal to P average multiplied with the total time. We already know the area under the curve it is equal to 105.2 megawatt so this is area area under the curve and in denominator we have p max multiplied with t p max is 150 and t is from 0 to 24 so you have to find out this rectangular area you have to find out this rectangular area which is the area corresponding to the p max p max is 150 so plant load factor is equal to area under the curve over rectangular area rectangular area corresponding to p max and this is the second way to calculate the plant load factor in your exam you may have problem based on this formula or you may have problem based on this result so remember both the results now we will calculate the plant load factor for this particular load curve and if you have a load duration curve if you have load duration curve in place of load curve then also you have to follow the same formulas here we have the load curve not load duration curve and we will find out the plant load factor p average is equal to 105.2 megawatt 105.2 megawatt and p maximum is equal to 150 megawatt 150 megawatt when you solve it you will get 0 0.701 and the unit will be nothing because megawatt over megawatt will cancel out so there will be no unit 0 0.701 is the answer now let us try to calculate the plf using this way first we will find out the area under the curve the area under the curve is 2525 megawatt hour we calculated it in the last presentation and rectangular area corresponding to p max we will find out the rectangular area will be 150 multiplied with 24 150 multiplied with 24 and the unit will be megawatt hour so we are going to get 2525 over 150 multiplied with 24 will give us 3600 and when you solve it you will get 0 0.701 which is same as the answer obtained using the first way now let us talk about the ideal and practical values of PLF ideally ideally plant load factor must be 1 p average must be same as p maximum this is what we want and in this scenario the plant load factor will be 1 but practically practically plant load factor is always less than 1 
so this is what we have but uh, there is one situation in which plant load factor can be greater than 1 as well plant load factor can be greater than 1 and this will happen when you run the generator more than the rated power the generator will have a nameplate will have a nameplate on it and in the nameplate if it is written 100 megawatt but you are producing 110 megawatt from this generator then in this scenario for a particular generator the plant load factor can be greater than 1 but in normal scenarios plant load factor is less than 1 now why it is less than 1 because average power the average power will always be less than the maximum power so remember the last point plant load factor ideally should be 1 but practically it is less than 1 and in some cases when you run the generator to produce 10 to 20 percent 10 to 20 percent more power than installed or mentioned on the nameplate plf will be greater than 1 so remember this point it is important and uh, the second way to calculate the plf this way is also important so this is all for this lecture if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section in the next presentation we will discuss plant capacity factor